So welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome again and thank you so much for joining us. So you want to be a YouTuber, but you just don't know where to start. Make sure you stick around. This is only going to be part one of a how to YouTube series where I'm going to be sharing with you guys a lot of different information that has to do with starting a YouTube channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button before you go anywhere and also that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video and so you don't miss out on the next videos for this series. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing some negatives about becoming a YouTuber. Now keep in mind, there's not just negatives, there's definitely positives, but just to start out the series, we're going to go ahead and start with the downsides of it. I'm going to go ahead and hit six different topics in this video. So we all start somewhere and it can be very overwhelming and very intimidating at first. As far as starting a YouTube channel, very easy. Everything that comes along after is what's going to be hard and trying and maybe will test you a little bit. In my comments, I have read a lot of people saying that they want to start a YouTube channel or they just started a YouTube channel and asking for tips on like, you know, what equipment I use, what apps I use, what editing software I use, etc, etc. I am going to hit into those topics a little bit as well, but today I want to share with you guys the things that nobody tells you about YouTube. And so starting with topic number one, YouTube is work. It is hard work. There are days where I might spend two hours, three hours, and other days where I spend a full eight hours on a video, like one video. And I'm just going to take myself for example. So let's just say I'm going to do a video on a DIY. I have to plan out what DIY I'm going to do. So not only am I designing a DIY, I'm also going to the store to buy all the supplies. Then when I start the video, I have to set everything up. I have to have all my tools, everything that I'm going to do. And then on top of that, it takes filming. If it's something that I'm doing like a live voice like right now, you have no idea how much of this video I'm going to have to edit out because of me stuttering or me um, not saying the correct thing. It may look very fluid to you guys, but in the background, there is a lot more that goes into it. Then I have to set up all my equipment. I have to set up my lighting to be perfect, and it never is. I have to set up my tripod in a certain position. I have to do the focus and autofocus, and then the zooming in of everything. So then you put all of your equipment away. Then you are going to have to edit. So depending on the editing software that you have, like, for example, I used to edit on my phone, and I used to edit through iMovies, which was super easy and convenient, but it didn't have the best result. I have to upload everything onto the computer, then I have to transfer transfer files, this and that, transfer them into the editing software, blah, 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 blah. You see where I'm getting at, right? Let's just say you have all of that done. Now your video is uploaded onto YouTube. Now you gotta worry about your tags, you gotta worry about your description, you gotta worry about you know linking certain videos. If you did a collab, you gotta link with those ch channels. And I think that's something that people don't really talk about because you see like this perfect end result but it really isn't and it really does take a huge amount of time from your day. So the number two thing that people don't tell you about YouTube is that some people just don't get it. Sometimes I feel weird saying oh yeah I do YouTube because I don't know how people are gonna react like if they're gonna react saying oh that's pretty cool or like <laughs> that is without a doubt the dumbest thing I've ever heard. You are a fucking idiot. Um, I actually did hear the term, people who do YouTube do it to get attention, and that was from someone in this circle. Not in my circle, but close to my circle. That's what you have to learn, that people don't have to get it and they don't have to understand it. Which brings me to the topic number three. Ah, uh, the internet trolls. The people that leave the, the nastiest, meanest, most crude and rude comments in the comment section. When I first started this, like, you know, I would get certain negative comments and even they weren't like negative, negative, but they had constructive criticism behind their tone. And I was just really not for it. And I was so quick to snap and just like say something back. It's been a long journey. And now it's, you know, if I see something I don't like, I just laugh at it and I block and delete. Sometimes I'll entertain it. Sometimes I won't. But those people have nothing better to do than hate. You are opening your life and you're opening your doors and welcoming in strangers, but that doesn't give them the right to, to bash you. You really have to have a thick skin to be able to get past, otherwise this is not gonna be a fun thing. Number four, YouTube costs 
money. A lot of my most popular videos are DIY videos. If I do DIYs every single day, that's a trip to the Dollar Tree. That's gas money to go to the Dollar Tree. It starts adding up. Not only am I left buying all these materials for the DIY, but I have to invest. I invested in my tripods. I invested in my lighting. I invest in my camera. I have thousands of dollars worth of equipment that I'm using. Yes, you can start cheap and you can start with your phone and propping it up on whatever and using light bulbs that you have in your house, which I did that too. But again, if you really want to take this seriously, you really do have to invest some money in it. Number five, the warning sign on other YouTubers. Being in this YouTube world for a little bit longer now, I can see the true intentions of people that I call ladder climbers, if you will. There will be people reaching out to you that will I don't know, basically kiss your ass to tell you how wonderful you are and how awesome it would be to do a collab with you and they love your channel and they just watch you every day till they get the answer that they want and you say, sure, I'll do a collab with you and then after the collab's done, their numbers grow, then it's see you later, I'll never talk to you again and unfortunately it happens everywhere. There are also those YouTubers that think their shit don't stink and they just don't give you the time of day. I've been that person too where I have reached out to YouTubers that I really admire and they don't give me the fucking time of day. Maybe it's them saying, nope, I'm not doing this again. I'm not gonna have a ladder climber and come over here and then never talk to me again. They don't wanna be rubbing shoulders with the lower numbers over here. Once you're in like a niche, um, there are certain YouTubers that pop up a lot and I feel it's more of like a sorority or a clique than anything. And this last year, I felt super disappointed because um, I reached out to a lot of YouTubers and there was YouTubers that were super flaky. Some that like set a date to do a collabs and then when the date came, like I never heard from them. I will have more respect for you if you tell me that you're busy rather than just fucking ignoring me. Like I ain't shit. That's also kind of gonna have an impact on me and who I collab with from now on. And then there's also those that come and comment in my comment section. It kind of irritates me when they come onto my channel and say, oh, great video, you should go check out my video. I have, I also uploaded this, blah, 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 blah. I've never seen them before, like in my comments or anything like that, but they're promoting their channel, which I guess that's fine, but you know what? Some of us work really, really hard to get our videos out there. And so it's kind of unfair when you just come over here and like say, cool, go check out my video. So in the world of YouTube, there is a plethora of copycats that will take your ideas and make them their own and not give you credit. You gotta be ready for the mean girls. You gotta be ready for the ladder climbers. You gotta be ready for those copycats because it really does start taking a toll on you when you're trying to create something and people are just being mean or they're taking credit for shit that you created <laughs> and that's not fun. We're gonna go ahead and finish this off with number six. YouTube can make you lose yourself, okay? YouTube also makes you wanna keep up with the Joneses. It feels like a competition, like, I gotta do this. If they're doing that, I gotta do it better. You know, you have, like, the trends that happen, like, um, clean with me videos. Like, crap, I've done the clean with me videos, but, like, how much differently can I clean every day? Like, it's the same house. I'm not changing houses every other week, you know? It's the same house, same rooms. I clean the same way. But then there was, like, that Walmart challenge. Like, everybody started doing the same crap. Like, everybody was at freaking Walmart getting their clothes, trying them on, and then being bougie on a budget. I almost got on that bandwagon. I told my husband, I'm like, you know what? I'm on it. I'm on the bandwagon. Bye. I'm going to go to Walmart. I'm going to get some outfits. I'm going to try them on, and my video is going to be blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I get to Walmart, and I'm like, bruh. I'm not doing this, okay? Because that's what's popular and that's what people are watching, and I'm making myself miserable because I'm trying to be this person that I'm not. And so I started losing myself and I started losing faith in like what I'm doing and I, I was this close, you guys. Nobody knows it, but I was this close to shutting this whole fucking operation down because I was just tired of keeping up with people. And for myself too, like I started noticing that um, a lot of the, a lot of channels that I collab with, they have really nice houses. They have a, a beautiful home, a beautiful kitchen, and then I would come home and be like, I hate my house, I hate my kitchen, I hate my living room, but 
I have a nice house. I have a good house. And if you knew where I came from when I was younger, I'll actually put the picture right here. That is a fucking long way to come. I don't care who you are in this YouTube world. At some point or another, you are gonna lose sight of who you are. And you know, it sucks because I do see a lot of people that I feel like are in the same boat, but they just don't wanna show it. That's the worst thing that could happen when you start YouTube is that you do lose yourself a little bit. If you're not happy, like, how are you supposed to put content out there that's going to make other people happy or feel inspired? I'm going to leave this on a positive note, you guys. Um, I want to tell you that, you know, I'm, I'm truly, truly blessed with everything I've had, um, with all the experiences I've had, and just seeing different things happen throughout this last year that have brought me down and blah, blah, blah. But now it's time to build myself up and share with you guys the ins and outs of you know this whole youtube thing and again my next video will be like the positives of youtube which there are a lot of positives also that's gonna be it for today you guys i know it's a little bit different and that's my intention totally for 2019 is to be myself but bring different things for you to watch so thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed it make sure you leave me a thumbs up those really 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 help me and if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button leave me any comments down below and i will see you guys on the next one bye